today. I've got my October favorites and least favorite products. I have a lot to show you, so here we go. So one of my absolute favorites that I've just kind of rediscovered, I've been using, but I, I guess I was thinking about it and what my favorites were, and I was like, I love this brush. It's the Real Techniques Powder Brush. Really, you know, a simple powder brush, but the way that it's shaped and its density, it's not too dense. It's a really nice, full brush. And so when you use it, it just gives a really flawless finish with your powder. And I feel like the denser powder brushes, which I have some that I really love, but they are denser. I feel like it's a very concentrated amount of powder. So it's just a kind of a thicker look on your face, whereas this is just a really nice dusting. So especially if you don't really have that oily skin, you just have a little bit of oiliness. This is great with powder. I really like it. Um, another one that I have just rediscovered is my Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. And this one, I wear it in the shade 120 Vanilla, and I've had it for a while, and I kind of use it off and on. But I've been using it every day because I was battling some dry skin, and it really helped to kind of clear it up. And every time I wear this, I really, my skin just feels like it can breathe. And it still gives a decent amount of coverage, more so than a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer would. So I just love it. And I, I don't think I realized how much I loved it. I know a lot of people don't like this product, and some do. Um, but I was kind of wishy-washy for a while until I really thought about it and realized, I really do like the way this looks on my skin. Now, I don't have very oily skin, like I said, so... If you do have oily skin, you probably won't like this. If you also, if you like really, really full coverage, you also won't like this. So there's that to consider. Um, but I just really, really like it. And 120 Vanilla it might be the most perfect shade for me if only everything had a 120 Vanilla because it's it's perfect. Okay, a product that I have not been loving would be this Alme Eye Makeup Remover. They're the oil-free eye makeup remover pads. They come in a little thing like this. And I can't use them anymore. I talked about, I think in a recent haul video or in something like that, that I can't use them. I discovered when I traveled, they broke me out. I had horrible dry skin. I'm still kind of dealing with it. Um, so I haven't been able to wear concealer. So like today I'm not wearing concealer or anything. So, Ooh, no. <laughs> um, but I can't use them. I'm sad because I've used these for a long time when I travel and they're so convenient. But that would be why my skin always feels so dry around my eyes when I travel. Hmm. I don't know how it took me that long to figure it out, but it did. Okay, another thing. Oh, the Physicians for Formula Quad in Canyon Classics. It's so simple. It's just these four shadows. But oh, there's something about them. They're all matte, first of all. This quad is only like $4. And they're just so very buttery shadows for sure but these colors together are such create such nice looks you can really darken it up for nighttime or just daytime using these colors and just using maybe even using this in the outer corner during the day they're just so simple and pretty and matte and it's so hard to find a collection of matte colors that are actually wearable for around five dollars at the drugstore I don't know why I don't know why no one makes matte shadows you know what I mean like for real why are they so hard to come by You'd think people would want that. I don't know. doesn't matter. Anyway, I've been reaching for matte shadows because I had dry skin up there. The shimmery ones were just enhancing. So for a while, I just didn't wear any shadow. And then once it started healing, I was just sticking to matte shadows. So that's how I rediscovered this. And I love it. And every time I go a while without using it and then use it again, I'm like, oh, man. It's just, it's the bomb. Another product I've been loving is the MAC Blush in Well Dress. It's one of their satin powder blushes. And it's just a really pretty pink blush. Really simple, but it's not shimmery. So like kind of for every day, it might be my favorite blush for every day, like ever. Because it, it, it stays on all day. I'm wearing it today and it's just so simple. I, maybe the word I should choose is elegant. And so Well Dress is a really good title for it because it really, it makes me feel really put together and not so in your face. So I really like that. Another product. Okay, I have a few lip products. What I'm wearing on my lips today is Max um, Angel, which I have a swatch actually right here already. I tried to film this video, and then my little pug Simba was, like, shaking the camera and stuff, so I had to get him out of here and redo it. But that is it. It's just a pretty pink. Um, but I've been wearing it, and I am today, with this lip gloss. It's the Revlon Super Lustrous in Pango Peach. I'll put a little more on. It's just really simple. And like a really nice peachy color. Ugh, a little much. Um, but it's nice. They wear off really well. You know what I mean? So 
I really like it. I don't think it's not like a holy grail lip gloss, but I really do like the color a lot with my skin tone. And I love Max Angel this month. Um, okay, a product that I have not been loving. The L'Oreal Infallible Shadow. And now I have a lot of them and I love most of them, but this one, it's strawberry blonde, and it took me forever to find this one. And it's kind of like a pinkish colored one. And I might you can't really tell the pink, but it's got these really cool tones in it. And it looks beautiful, right? Swatches beautifully. However, you can't really see the swatch like on my hand, so I'm not even going to bother. But when you put it on your eyes, at least for me and my skin tone, it makes me look tired all day. Now, pink shadows are kind of known to make you look a little tired, make your eyes look red. But the shimmers that are in this make it even worse. So the few times I've worn this, like usually I've worn it on my lid with other stuff, and every time I look in the mirror, like later in the day, I'm like, ah, I hate the way it looks. So I'll probably still try and incorporate it every once in a while, but maybe in a different way because I have not liked the way it looked on my eyes at all. So we'll see what I end up doing with that. Ooh. So a L'Oreal Infallible shadow that I love is Eternal Sunshine. It's this beautiful gold color. Um, did I already, here, I'll swatch it on this finger. Look at that. It's like, bam. I know I say that a lot, but here it is right here, if the shimmer will pick up. Um, it's just really pretty. It's almost a dupe for Urban Decay's Half Baked, which is my favorite Urban Decay shadow ever, and it happens to be in both of the Naked 1 and Naked 2 palettes, probably because it's amazing and people love it. Um, so I really, really like that one. So it's almost a really nice drugstore dupe. You do have to be careful with these, though, with Fallout. So you want to make sure you, you know, you're not going crazy with it because it is still kind of a pigment. So, you know, you want to make sure you don't get too much fallout. I have one of those little shields and I actually use it when I apply them. I might look silly doing it, but at least I don't have glitter everywhere. Okay, another product I've been loving is this Maybelline Color Whisper and Strike a Rose. I think I've already talked about this, um, but it's right here. Um, it's just kind of like a really nice... Um, <laughs> Sounds silly. Rose color. I really, I feel like I talk about this one every time. Or maybe I haven't, but I love this one. This one and Lust for Blush are my two favorite color whispers. They're pretty much in my purse all the time. Speaking of purse, let me know if you want to see an updated What's in My Purse video. Because I made one, and if I remember to, I'll link it below. But it was like when I first started my channel, which really was only back in April. It wasn't that long ago, but it's just funny to see. Already it's funny to see how it's kind of changed. I'm still the same, but like the settings kind of changed and it's just fun. Anyway, so I'm thinking about doing an updated one, but let me know if you want to. I'm not gonna, I mean, it wasn't that long ago, so I'm not gonna if no one wants me to, honestly. But anyway, okay, another product I fell in love with, the Revlon Lash Potion. When I first tried it, I liked it, but I didn't love it. And I was like, I'm not gonna repurchase this, you know. But I, this is one that you just have to let it dry out for a while and then you will love it. I love this stuff. It adds so much volume once it's dried out a bit. It's beautiful. Who knew? I mean, really. I really was like, it's okay. It does have a humongous brush, so if you don't like big brushes, you won't like this one. Um, but it's nice. And I actually have it in the shade Black and Brown, which I usually just get black or black is black. But I actually kind of like it in this shade too, so go figure. I'm changing, people. I'm changing. So, um, okay. No, I'm going to show you. I'll show you this one first. The... Color tattoos. I forgot about them. I have a lot of them and I completely forgot and I opened my drawer and saw them and I was like, what? So I pulled my, out my favorite, which is Barely Branded. It's just a really pretty um, shimmery champagne or pearl color. And they're just so pretty. They say on all day. They're creamy. Um, they do, I think they say you're supposed to store them upside down, like to help. But I store them sideways. They've been fine, you know. So I don't know. But I really, really like this color. It's just such a really nice, I wore it today on my lid just to prime that area instead of using an eye primer. Okay, a product I have not been liking, and this is a huge disappointment. The Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I got it a while ago, and I have it in the shade Nude, which is dark for me now, but in the summer it works out pretty well, actually. But first of all, the packaging. What? Like, this twists off. So this cap part just came off. I was like, seriously? And this is a really expensive product. I got a good deal on it, but still, it's a very expensive product. So it has an SPF of 20, if I didn't say it. It's definitely a lightweight coverage. It is a tinted moisturizer. But there's something about it on my face that I just don't like. It, it, it makes it feel like it can't breathe, which makes no sense because it's a tinted moisturizer. 
So I don't know what it is, but every time I look at it on my face, I'm like, I don't really like the way it looks and I can't really pinpoint it. It, it I don't know, it doesn't really oxidize throughout the day on me, but it just makes my skin look dull. Um, so I don't know. I really don't know what it is about this, but I wouldn't waste my money on it. If I were you, there's a lot better tinted moisturizers out there that don't cost like 40 something dollars. Another product I have been loving is this CoverGirl pencil. It's their one of their flamed out pencils. Don't know the shade. I talk about this one all the time. It's right here. If you can see that, it's like this peach color. It's like a shimmery peach and I wear it under my eye all the time on my lower lash line that is and I just love it. It wears all day. It's a beautiful kind of shimmery color. Adds a little dimension there without being kind of, you know, bright. And I love them. And so when I run out, I want to get the gold version they have of this. And when I run out of this, I would be repurchasing it. Because I've been grabbing it every single day. I just love it. I don't even want to use anything else. Okay, a product I also love. The Blistex Restore and Revive Little Duo. This is so cool to me because they come together. I actually got it at Big Lots for like a couple bucks. But they snap together if you want or they're separate. You're supposed to use the Restore one at night because it's got vitamin E and a lot of moisturizing ingredients. So I put that on at night and it smells like a candy necklace. Exactly like a candy necklace. And if you have this, you're gonna laugh because that's it, right? Ladies, That it smells like a candy necklace. Awesome. Then the daytime one has SPF of 15 and this one smells minty. So it's kind of nice during the day when you want to smell minty, you know. That is really nice. I've used the Restore one much more because I love wearing it at night. When I wake up in the morning, my lips are almost just like, they're like soft and juicy. That sounds weird, I know, but my lips literally look fuller in the morning. I don't know, and I've already got big lips as it is, so it's pretty awesome. I really like this duo. I'm assuming they're sold in regular stores too, but if not, look at Big Lots, and I'm gonna go back and see if there's more because I want another one of these because I like it. Okay, a product I hated. This Victoria's Secret Shimmer Fierce Liner Duo. It looks like this. What is this? Oh, it's in the shade Smoke and Mirrors. I already have them swatched right there. There's the silver and there's the like charcoal color. Um, they're beautiful. The charcoal one's okay and it wears okay throughout the day. It's not, it's not great. The silver one, I put it on my lower lash line. I had glitter all over my face at the end of the day. I was like, I looked ridiculous. And I was like, at work, I was like, come on. You know, like, and I didn't have, like, anything in my purse with me for whatever reason to help touch up that day. So I was like, of course, of all days. It was just, mm. So I was very disappointed in this, not even going to try it again. Now, I've had this for a while, but I remember that it was kind of, eh, when I first tried it. That it was kind of patchy, the silver one was. And that's why I bought it. I like the silver side. Okay, so those were all of my favorites and least favorites of the month. I hope it was enjoyable and informative, and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye.